Hey guys, how are you doing and welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to add partial payment options in checkout page using WP Travel plugin. Partial payment is an exciting feature available in WP Travel plugin that makes it easier for the travelers to book for trip or tour package on an installment payment basis. The tour operators and travel agencies can specify the partial payment rate of the trip in percentage while creating the package. Later, travelers can book the package at a specified installment cost. So if you want to learn how to add partial payment options, you can just follow along this tutorial. Before starting, let me mention that for this video we have used the travel log theme. The link could be found in the description. If you want to check the travel log theme, you can just refer to the link. Okay, first of all, after activation of WB Travel Pro plugin, you will get the partial payment option in the WB Travel settings under the payment which you need to enable by going into admin panel and then to W travel and to settings and you can see the payment tab in here so under the payment settings you can see the partial payment option and also a button to enable it or disable it now the point to be noted here is that partial payment feature will only be available after activation of WP Travel Pro plugin. To know more about WP Travel Pro plugin, please don't refer to the link in the description of the video. It will guide you thoroughly how to get the plugin and also the necessary details that you need. Okay, so here you can see the option to enable partial payment while booking. Just enable it and after you enable the partial payment option, a partial payout field will appear. Here. You can add up to 4 partial amounts to be paid during the booking under the partial payment field as you can see on your screen right over here. Now keep in mind that you can add any number of partial payouts as per your requirement but the total percentage of your added amounts must be equal to 100% altogether. Below here you can see option to add a partial payment or remove a partial payment. Using these features you can add or remove the partial payout fields. After adding the percent of amount in partial payout fields, you need to enable use global payout option under the minimum payout by going to admin panel, trips, individual trips and then to the trip you've created and just scroll down and here you can see present dates. Just scroll down again and here you can see the partial payout options. So just enable the use global payout and you are pretty much done. Now in individual trips if the option is enabled then the global partial payment is set under WP Travel settings payment and partial payment which will be applied during the payment. If the option is disabled then the global partial payout field will be appeared for the individual trip as shown in here. And again you can add any number of partial payout as per your requirement but the total percentage you have added must be equal to 100%. After enabling the partial payment option in the back end, the partial payment option will appear under the payment mode field while selecting booking with payment option under the booking option field in the checkout page as you can see in here. For checkout page you have to create page and add shortcut which has been provided under the checkout page input field located on admin panel, to travel, settings and then to general. As you can see over here the checkout page and the review travel checkout option. Okay so now let's just head over to the users and, and see what so far we have added. So in the checkout section choosing the partial payment option under the payment mode field will display the first installment payment amount which needs to be paid with installment payment percent as shown in here. After this you can book a trip with a payment. You can watch other previous videos regarding how to add payment gateway in the checkout page. The link could be found in the description or you can also see the card on the top right side of your screen. After the booking is done with the partial payment the rest of the installment amount should be paid through the user's dashboard page. For the user's dashboard page, you have to create page and add short code, which has been provided under the dashboard page input field located on admin panel, W travel, settings and general. You can see this dashboard page option and here you have this W travel user account. 
The page you have created using shortcode related to dashboard page should be assigned for dashboard page. For further payment through the user's dashboard page, go to the user's dashboard page then click on bookings tab where you will be able to view the list of booking trips. Now click details button on the trip which will redirect you to the section where you can view the booking details as well as installment amount to be paid as shown in here. You can see the bookings tab and you have all of your details in here. In the booking details section, you need to select one of the payment gateway as per your need. Then click on complete payment button which makes your second installment complete as shown in here. So you need to repeat the same steps to make the full payment. WP Trav Pro plugin provides a remaining partial payment reminder feature which helps to send reminder notifications to the customers via emails so the customers could be notified to make the full payment. To do so you need to enable the reminder notification button in the back end by going to admin panel, WP Travel, settings, email and then partial payment email templates. You can see on your screen right now. This option is currently disabled and when you enable it you will get the following options. First of all, email cycle. This option allows you to select the following options through the drop down. Once in 4 days, this option allows you to send the reminder notification once in 4 days and once in 7 days option will do it after 7 days. And the 15 will go on after 15 days. The reminder title, this option allows you to set the title for reminder notification mail. Payment email header color, this option allows you to set the header color and email content option and email content, this option includes the default template but you can adjust the formatting template yourself according to your requirement. So that was pretty much it guys, I hope you liked the video, if you did so, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video and until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.